Okay, it's nine o'clock at night. Not that that makes any difference to me doing reviews, but we've got heavy rain forecast for the next two or three days. So I thought I'd give this a go. I've never filmed it this time of night, I don't think, on a full review. So let's see how we get on, shall we? Anyway, so um, got this natty looking sort of uh, Mavic clone again. It's no Mavic uh, by any means. It's a, a sort of cheap and cheerful uh, quad actually, uh, and nicely compact as well. Look at this, it's just so really smart. And it's got a really unusual feel to it. It's sort of a, I don't know if you'll be able to hear that, it's sort of a rough feel to the actual plastic. So it's almost like a fine sandpaper, which is a kind of unusual uh, setup. Folding drone, as we said, 2017, the year of the folding drones. And this one folds out really quite nicely and sort of locks in position. Uh, there's no, there's little, must be little balls or something or other that are just clicking it into position there again. Hopefully you can hear that. Uh, if it took an impact, they would take a bit of effort to get out of the way, I would imagine. But it's such a lightweight uh, quad. If it did take an impact, it would spin around. Obviously got brushless motors. And uh, like I say, it's about 30 odd pounds, I think, something like that. So pretty good uh, deal on it, if it flies okay. You got the sort of folding props as well. So really nice. And uh, that's gonna save anything if you clip anything as well. There's no prop guards or anything with it. And the props are a little bit flexible in sort of the downward direction. In the upward one, they really don't wanna move, but. Uh, and the other thing, which is unusual um, on a lot of quads, I actually give you a little lens cap as well, which is, uh, I think is good because the amount of times I put my finger on the blinking lens uh, and you haven't got a cloth with you, real uh, pain. And sort of little landing gear there and here as well. So it's a really sort of low profile one. You've got a little uh, 650 milliamp hour uh, single cell battery here and just simply loads of room in the back in the battery bay area so you could probably get a, a bigger one in there if you wanted to but i'm hoping we're going to get a good flight out of this i'm going to plug that in and it pops in quite nicely you've got like i say you've got a fair bit of room there uh, to get it going and there we are all nice you see it's got on off switch there and the illusion of sort of battery warning leds here but there's no actual leds in there and the lens tilts as you can see which is rather nice but it doesn't actually sort of stay where you put it to be honest it sort of floats around wherever it likes so what i would do a little bit of smurf poo in there i would have thought and you can just hold it in position or blue tack if you prefer and that would that's going to hold it there or just a little little spot there it wouldn't take much to hold it uh, and but it does gradually drop down and it finds its own sort of level there sort of thing and it's got a little sort of face on the front there onto the transmitter and as you notice we've got a wi-fi system here this just all pops off whoops there we go oh well i won't put that on and holds up to a reasonable size phone and um, a little gaming transmitter really nice and comfy in the hand this is really smart um, and i i find it quite good um, i tend to be uh, sometimes a pinch sometimes a thumb this is more geared at thumbers it's got the sort of pads there that are really made for it to be perfectly honest uh, and it just feels comfortable they're quite a long way in uh, rather than being up here but they actually feel quite good because your thumb sort of drop down to there so really like that oh a transmitter with loads of uh, identification on it which i really like you got your main on off switch here you got your trims here uh, and then like i say it's sort of very much on a xbox sort of style you've got three different rates all starts in low rates press it once it beeps twice and then it goes into intermediate press it again it goes into high rates press it again it'll come back around to low rates you've got a flip button here so you press that and then you choose what direction forward right uh, backwards or left and they are both sensor sticks so it's got altitude hold uh, this is your throttle up and down and then for turning you or you're in it's called you go right and that goes right left and that goes left and there's your pitch forward pitch backwards roll right roll left so you're fully up yeah now you can just fly it's that easy to be perfectly honest uh, this one actually puts it into a spin oh, it's the second one i've had that does that why i don't know but it's obviously manufacturers are thinking that's what we want this is auto takeoff and auto land this one here is a, a kill button if you press that it just kills the motors like that and it will just drop out of the sky so only in an emergency obviously and uh, this one's your uh, headless mode you hold uh, press it once and it goes into headless press it again and it goes out of headless if you hold it down uh, for about three seconds it will come return to home it's got no gps or anything on it um, so return to home is a roughly in one direction um, 
Uh, but you're not going to fly this very far away, to be honest. It's not going to be a great distance one. There's no sort of antenna sticking out or anything. So it's really, I wouldn't say it was a novelty. It's a nice, yeah, it could be a really good little drone. And uh, if the footage is quite good off it, it could be quite nice. On to the actual um, Wi-Fi setup. And you basically need a phone. You don't get a phone with it, obviously. Or you could use a very small tablet, I would have thought. Or you can rig up something else on there. But the phone is what it's aimed at. And it's, uh, the, there's... The quick read codes all around uh, in the actual instructions and on the box, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and it's JAD UFO, uh, or you can get it on the Google Store. And it works on both uh, Apple and Android, as far as I know. So first things first, let's just pop the uh, transmitter on. You get a flashing LED there, and then pop the actual uh, quad on as well. we have got flashing LEDs there, as you can see. And then to bind, we go up and down. On the throttle there we go and then uh, the leds have stopped wow they're really bright as well they're actually quite nice gee whiz the green ones are just vicious <laughs> i'm going to fly with the using it as sort of an fpv on here first of all now i haven't logged onto this one yet so. but first of all what we need to do is actually go into our wi-fi settings and then we should come up with a ufo there we go that one there press that one that's it, and it's connected and everything, so we're all fine. It, it always says no internet access. The, it, the quad produces a Wi-Fi hotspot, and basically we've just logged on to that, and we've got the warning there that there's no internet asset access. That is absolutely fine. Come back to your home page, and then launch the application, and that should, and then press play, and we're live. Wee, look at that, straight away. So yeah, that camera pointed up would have been better. I think it'll be okay. There we go, sir. So. Uh, probably, I mean, the Wi-Fi can be reasonable, uh, but this hasn't got any antennas sticking out or anything, so I don't think it's going to be that quick. Well, it's not too bad. Yeah, there's a lag there, but it's it's not too bad. It's, you know, it's never going to be, going to be as good as our um, uh, 5.8 FPV, is it? And uh, we've, got, we've got to accept that it is Wi-Fi, so... Uh, I'm going to start recording straight away. So video is recording on, that's great. And it's just got a little counting up there. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's calibrate it first of all. So put it on somewhere level. And then this is also your calibration as well as your stop. This is your calibration as well. So you're going to hold that down. You get a big beep off the transmitter and you get flashing LEDs. So we should be nice and calibrated because this is actually the first flight. I haven't done anything with this. Like I say, nine o'clock at night. I'm trying to, trying to get this out and done. There we go. So, hey, that's not bad. <laughs> I like it that already. Yeah, that's pretty good. Huh. Yeah, that is nice actually. Ha, those LEDs are excellent. <laughs> and it flies really nicely. It's sort of pointing downwards as well, like I say, on the, on the camera. So that's in low rates. The yaw is quite strong for low, actually. There we go. So yeah, it's quite... And it's altitude hold, so when I actually pull the lever, the throttle off, it's never going to come down that fast. So I let go. Oh, it stabilises quite quickly, actually. Let me bring that in a bit closer for you so you can have a, have a good look at that. Okay, so... Kick out isn't going to be right, so kick out, quite slow. There's the tiniest breeze in the garden, which is actually affecting this. And then that's throttle right off. And there's this actually altitude hold holds really nice on this. You can check if it's a breeze, because if I turn around and it's still blowing the same way, that's which it is, but it's definitely a breeze catching it, because now it's just sort of stabilised really nicely. <laughs> Right, I'm going to run out of battery if I don't watch it. So I'm going to click this one and get a double beat, and now we're up into intermediate rates. That is nice, I like it. Hey, look, selfies as well. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm going to have to go and get something to hold that lens up because I think pointing down all the time isn't so good. Let's pop it up into high rates, give it a go there. 
Uh, again, no sports fly by any means. Whoa, that yaw, like I say, they've sort of got the yaw cranked right up. You have to be very careful with the amount of uh, what you're giving it on the yaw. It's very difficult to get it not to turn really fast. Yeah, it's sort of whoa. <laughs> That's quite a shot, the yaw. Let me just show you what I mean. So if I bring this down to us, and then if I just give it a tiny bit of yaw, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, they keep going over. And then the first bit of yaw I get is now. Here we go. Oh, and it just spins, basically. You, I, oh, even I haven't got any finesse there. You can see how far that's gone over and nothing's happening. So now Let's see whether that's the same on the... Yeah, it's kind of the same on the pitch as well. Well, not so bad on the pitch, actually. Yeah, no, it's just the yaw that's a bit mad. Let me just try that in the different rates then. So, there we go, that's in high rates, low rates, medium rates, high rates. There we go. Oh, it does make quite a difference. Let's see what the difference in pitch is. So this is high rates, low rate, whoa. <laughs> that made a heck of a difference, didn't it? Let's try that again. So that's low, intermediate, high. Very nice. So, it's three definite differences, but that yaw is just, it's either on or off, basically. Let's try that in low rates. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So, your yaw is a bit anxious, actually. You get nothing on your control, and then all of a sudden you get everything. So, I'm going to pop that right back up. I'm going to try this flip thing. Whoa, flips quite nicely, actually. Not really my thing, the flips, but... So, that's forward. Sideways, <laughs> yeah, it recovers quite well as well. Backwards, but whoa, I don't really like the way it sort of throws itself around. That's, that's fine. So there we go, look, see that's what this does. That button there is just does that. Why you'd want to do that, I have no idea. Pressing the button doesn't seem to do anything to stop it. You have to use your direction one here. Um, we've got auto land here, so let me just bring it back over. Uh, let's just press that. There we go. Bang. Whoa, that stops really fast, doesn't it? And then, actually, I'm going to stop the video and just restart the video just in case we get any problems. Off again with the uh, auto takeoff, auto land. So you don't touch anything and it just rises to what's that, a meter? Yeah, a meter. Uh, headless mode. Whee. I don't like headless mode. There we go. So we're now in headless mode. As you can see, we've got flashing, uh, we've got flashing LEDs to warn you that you're in headless mode as well. That's rather good. And then press that and that cancels it. Oops. There we go, that cancels it, there we go. So now I can see the LEDs, like I say, the LEDs are great on it. Oh, uh, shall I try return to home? I hate return to home. There we go, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Up! <laughs> so it just um, <laughs> put it into uh, headless mode after uh, home mode. So I'll wander around to my neighbour and get it. Okay, so we've got no damage whatsoever. Just a little bit of, looks like a bent arm, but I think that'll be just clicked back into position. So rather nice. Okay, so, <laughs> got it back, everything seems fine. I'm, uh, I've just literally just uh, managed to find, under a leaf here, you can find Smurf poo all over the place. They're little crafty devils. And I reckon that's going to just work a treat in there. Uh, so if only all quad mods were that easy, eh? So now we've got a forward-facing one. Okay, I'm going to give it a go on the app. If I turn the transmitter off, and as you can see, we've got the, the LEDs on there. Turn that off, so now we're waiting to bind to here. <coughs> Even though we've got this on, it's not bound to it until I actually turn the controls on and then the LEDs have stopped flashing again. So now we're all ready to go. I'll bring this down here. Sometimes I'm good with apps, sometimes I'm not. Ah, now this is one of those apps I really don't like. If I go anywhere around, it won't go to where my finger is, basically. I have to hold it and then drag it across. Now, I don't... 
uh, on other apps it just so if you let go at any stage it drops back to the middle you've got to go and find it again when well, you're busy watching the quad you're not you're tending to look right down at your fingers that's the whole idea of it but uh, it's just me perhaps um perhaps it's all right with everyone else but not my thing i must admit if i press this one we go back into our shoe hold this one's come up here and we've got auto take off auto landing so nice and easy and we could turn that off when we're in flight if we uh, if we don't want altitude hold. Now that'd be interesting whether or not you can turn the altitude hold off. Wait. Now like I say, this app I'm not good with. <laughs> and the rates are always even lower, so I'm going to up the rates there. Wee. Oh, nay, now there's nothing wrong with those rates. Yeah, that's good. Let's get the uh, video going. Now it's much better now. It's sort of facing forward as well. See what I mean? If you let go of that uh, control, it's awful, I think. There we go. Yeah, see, I've missed it again. Whoa! See, I just... No, I'm not getting on with this app. No, this is a this is the app I have the trouble with. I've had it I had it very recently as well. And exactly the same problem. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it sort of does everything I guess. I wonder if we can take the altitude hold off. Well, there we go. Oh yeah, so we yeah, it has got altitude you can take it off on this one. Oh no, you can't. <laughs> I think that's just low battery and we're just out. But uh, actually I'll do a, a still as well. I oh, know it it definitely was uh, there we go. Saved successfully, apparently. So definitely got that with the yaw, and it's definitely a little bit robotic, I would say. Whee, there we go. No, so it's definitely a battery. Okay. <laughs> so just got a little bit of charge back into it, because uh, I wanted to do a range test, actually, because uh, I didn't manage to do that. Put the video back on. And then let's go and see what we do for range and, and check out the FPV a little bit better this time as well, I'm hoping. Actually, it's pretty jello free that. I'm quite impressed with that. I'm going to up the rates because the wind's increasing, which is another thing they forecast that we're going to be. Oh, it does worry me that uh, how far the... Uh, That uh, your so I'm busy trying to watch it and, and I'm trying to watch the FPV as well so just get on and fly stop fluffing around there we go yeah that's holding pretty well that's good 50 meters there we it's yeah very good oh that wind's quite strong down there as you can see it's sort of now batting it around well hey that did pretty well actually and the FPV's holding as well, so I'm quite impressed with that. Let me just see if we can get that yaw around. That's better. That's actually quite nice. The FPV's working all right. Better than I thought it was, actually. No, I'm not getting any sort of drop out or anything or lag with it at all it's pretty good but that yaw is just wrong oh it really spoiled it because of that I just you know i'm usually reasonably a competent pilot but uh, no not with that i'm just getting drastic yaw i'm going to try in low rates i don't get any better i don't get any better filming it's slightly better but you can see i just literally Nothing's happening. I've got loads of yore on there, and then suddenly it comes around. That's a yeah. That's sort of a bit of, bit of a letdown, I must admit. And even if I pinch it, it's still not going to make any odds to it. I'll see whether they fly a bit of FPV here. Oh, it's just that yours a blinking killer. You just never know when it's going to kick in. No, not happy with that. Yeah, no, the, the yaw is literally... 
I'm cranked right over and nothing is happening and then it comes in at the last 10 percent I don't know it's just my one mm, it, uh, that's a real shame here we go let me show you so nothing's happening about there gee whiz that's terrible Ooh. actually if you're in in motion with it it's not too bad to be honest I can fly that but it's when you no, it's still got too much kick around straight away you've just got nothing 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 there we go oh and I can just about hold that on a gentle one oh that is I mean you shouldn't be able to go that far over on a stick should you <laughs> oh hello I told you didn't get much power in it <laughs> <laughs> that's an interesting thing i just picked it up and it's still obviously got a sort of ooh, a live thing with it because as i turn it round or do anything with it i can make the that's not me spinning it that's actually the prop deciding to go <laughs> well <laughs> what i was going to show you was <laughs> you can also bring it into land normally for like a normal cord wood and uh, you can just kill pull the power right off and then eventually it'll come down and, and think it's landed on the ground and it'll stop but watch this <laughs> see i'm not touching anything so it's actually stopped stone dead <laughs> oh, <weird. laughs> it's like it's got the last word <laughs> i've got a granddaughter like that <laughs> Yes, that's just like her actually. Always has to have the last word. <laughs> now we'll do another test then while we while we're doing all these tests. Let me just press that button again for auto takeoff. Oh we're really that that low on power. I was gonna see what happens when we actually kill the kill the power here. So I've turned off the transmitter, which is very brave. Whoa. Oh no, we're going to die. That's it. I hadn't actually done that test, so that's fair enough. That seems pretty extensive. It's sort of best part of 10 o'clock now. Yeah, so there we go. Late night testing and uh, getting reasonable results. I thought I was quite pleased with it. The uh, kit that you get with it, you get the phone holder, uh, so you can either fly with or without that on your uh, transmitter. So you don't actually need it. If you're new to flying, don't bother with the FPV and everything. Just just concentrate on learning to fly. Then play around with the FPV. Uh, much better way of doing it, I think. Your charger is a USB charger, so you can literally anywhere that you've got a USB port with power coming out of it, you can charge the charge it up. It takes about an hour, hour to an hour and a half to actually do. And uh, there's replacement batteries for this. Is a really nice standard battery and I'll put links down in the description for you there so they're not expensive so it's nice to have a couple of batteries with you certainly. You get a little Phillips screwdriver as well and the props are held on with a little Phillips screw as well so just got to get into there and you get four spare props uh, though as you can see obviously there are eight props on this actual uh, quad but I think you'd be pretty hard I'll push to actually break them because they're going to fold out of the way or on impact or anything obviously and sort of get out of the way until they get to the point of no return where they can't keep turning anymore then you might get a snap off but to be honest it'll probably be out of trouble by then because it would have probably hit the deck to be perfectly honest everything is plastic it's a very lightweight quad I put the weight down the bottom there for you even these bits are plastic even though they do look aluminium they, they're not there's there's nothing on the other metal apart from the little screws that go around it uh, onto the functions and everything, transmitter I thought was excellent, uh, just have issues with that yaw, um, which is a real shame. Uh, I did fly it around afterwards um, just to give it a go, uh, just playing around, not concentrating on sitting still or anything. And in movement, it's much better. In low and medium rates, it's much more controllable on, on the, the sort of yaw and the roll as well, sort of performs quite nicely, but it still has that sort of a uh, long way over before it starts to act. Once it starts to act, it really starts to get a shift on. So uh, just be warned of that. Um, whether or not anyone else has issues with that, I don't know. But to me, it was like that. The last quads I've been flying have actually been sort of racer style ones. So there's you, you've got a really nice control on the stick. So that might be that I'm just a bit used to those sort of thing. But it, that is definitely an issue with it. It definitely does that on the yaw as I clearly showed. So I try and show it as it is. That's the way the channel works best, I think. And it's, it's fair on everyone then. Hopefully the manufacturers then get anything sorted that we think is uh, slightly wrong. Like I say, the finish is sort of that rough, uh, rough plastic finish. And the interesting thing is you can turn 
turn it on and off anywhere. You can just literally press anywhere around this area and it will flip it on. And as you can see how bright those LEDs are, they're really good, even under the studio lights. And again, you can just sort of press it anywhere and it, it turns it off. So it's a, it's a, you're supposed to do it there, but I found you can do it anywhere. That weird thing when you power off and uh, you've come into land and everything, you pick it up, if you haven't turned the power off on this and you tilt it, the props do just start to spin. They'll stop as soon as you put it level, but uh, I don't know why, I have never, can't ever remember having that on another quad, but uh, that's just the way it is, I suppose. Uh, the return to home, I have no idea what that did. That just did its own thing, but I've, I've never, ever had a good return to home uh, system on this level of quad, so I'm, I'm, you're not gonna fly it that far away. Uh, having said how far away you fly, I got 80 meters out of this, uh, just on 80 meters, and that was fine. It still had good control here. I, the Wi-Fi signal went out at about 60 meters, 50, 60 meters, which is good. And the Wi-Fi was pretty good, actually. The um, FPV worked pretty well, I thought, uh, and there was hardly any lag on it at all. And I was quite impressed with that. On to the app. Let me show you what my issue with the app is. And this isn't the only app that does this, I must admit. So I'm going to go into play, and we're just going to turn those on. Now, as I move around, you can see it's following me quite happily. But what happens is I find my thumbs, because you're doing this with your thumbs normally, just comes off very slightly. And look, see, I can't pick it back up until I actually go back to the middle and grab it again. And same with that one. Once, once you sort of let go, unless you come back to it, it, which it, I, you can just ease off a tiny bit and it lets go of it. So I find that a bit of a pain. If I go back to uh, another app and there's loads of apps out there, I'm not saying this is the one uh, to use or anything, but I'll just pick Wi-Fi UFO. It's one that I've done a lot with and I've done a full video on how to use these apps. Now, you see what happens there? As soon as I touch anywhere, it jumps to where I am. Now, to me, that makes more sense because if I'm pulling this over here and we're just coming down here and I just ease off slightly, it will jump back to the middle as soon as my finger touches back on, which is where I would have lifted. Sorry, my th it would be my thumbs. Thumbs has come off where it's gone back. It will jump back to where I was. So the quad won't suddenly rush off anywhere. So invariably, you just sort of, just you just, ease off the screen a tiny bit. So uh, I seem to make a lot of fuss about that, but actually I honestly cannot fly the other app really well, the one that comes with this. I have tried all my other apps uh, to get it to work on this uh, quad and it won't. They've, they're just literally only working on that app, which is a little bit of a shame, but then you have got a great transmitter here and perhaps you'll find the app fine. Perhaps it's just me. So all in all, I really like it. I love this effect. Uh, I love, uh, a lot about it and the price is awesome I think for, for everything you get in here uh, but I've been honest uh, the yaw is a little bit anxious I would say it's not ridiculous like I've had on some quads uh, some of the smaller quads you can just you just have no control over them they just really whiz round um, and they're really quite difficult to control and that actually I find really challenging and I can I can usually fly them I flew this one okay but it's just knowing the difference of very smooth yaw from the beginning of stick movement uh, uh, to me that that makes quite a lot of difference so all in all really nice um i bashed it around a little bit as i usually do and the only other issue is just this lens which seems to be sitting a bit better where i put it now uh, but really you do it should have something that holds it a little bit better uh, but literally just a little bit of blue tack in there and that holds it fine so yeah uh, all in all and uh, for the money um, really good and i'll put a link down in the description you should still get a discount on it uh, which should bring it down to around uh, less than 35 pounds i think it is and they do a bind and fly one but i don't know what it binds to uh, and that saves you about another fiver so gee whiz <laughs> the prices are getting cheaper the quads are getting better and that's just the way we like it. Mm -hmm.